We are a leading state on all environmental and energy efficiency initiatives. He's ushered through a living wage for working families. He's He's a friend of every single progressive, democratic, Tacoma Park, Silver Spring kind of value. And we're all here today to send Martin O'Malley back for another four years. Thank you very, very much. Let's give it up for the District 20 team. Yay! Hey, I want to thank all of you. My family and I have done, uh, we did about four parades. This was our fourth today. And Kevin was there on each and every one of them. We never had a nicer group of people than we had here in Tacoma Park. So thank you very, very much. Look, I, I really appreciate the quality of the leadership that you send to Annapolis. Heather Mazur has uh, hit the ground running. She has been a tremendous leader for our state. And her colleagues, Tom Hucker, who does an outstanding job. And Sheila Hickson, the chair of Ways and Means. Yay, Yay Sheila! And by God, these last four years, we've been looking for both ways and means, haven't we? Uh, and also Jamie Raskin, who's done a terrific job as a state senator. Yay! Look, we still have a lot of work to do. The most powerful place in our state is a family's home. And there's nothing more important for keeping that home than a job. So my good news that I share with you, my friends, is that in our state of Maryland, for three months in a row, we have had positive job growth for three months in a row. We need to keep doing everything we can. Here's the vision for the future. Maryland leads all other states out of this recession into a better tomorrow. How's that for vision? So, and this is the audience participation part in conclusion, because somebody was asking where the guitar and the band is. I didn't bring that, but here's the audience participation part. Uh, you know, the thing I love best about the people of our state is that when we're given a choice of moving forward or slipping back, we always choose to move forward. And that's particularly true in times of great national adversity. And that's why, together, even in these difficult times, for two years in a row, we put together the, uh, in the investments we needed to so that we could create the best public school system in the United States of all 50 states. Because, and here's the participation part, in Maryland we move forward, not back. While other states are shoving people off of health care rolls, you and I together in Maryland have extended health care coverage to 185,000 people because in Maryland we move forward, not backwards. While other states are saying, oh, we've got to skimp on environmental regulations, really tough times, we don't want to do anything that might be misperceived, together we've passed some nation-leading climate change bills, we've done the California clean cars stuff, we've done some great stuff in reinstituting smart growth, we are leaders now in energy and renewables and energy conservation, because in Maryland we move forward, not, not backward. Together in the toughest of times, we've driven crime down to its lowest level since 1975 because in Maryland we move forward, forward not back. back. In the toughest of times, we are going to build the Purple Line because in Maryland we move forward, not back. Hey, look, I really need you all this year. We are a great state, but we cannot take anything for granted. 45% of our neighbors are going to vote for a guy who says he runs in order to take Maryland back. Oh, we can't allow that to help it happen. we got to go forward. I really need your help, and I thank you so much for letting me say hi. And, and just so you all know, our great governor is leaving now to catch a flight to New Orleans to receive an award from the National Education Association, naming him the United States of America's number one education governor. Yay! So we're so excited that he could be with us briefly today. All right, next up. It's been a long time since we've had a United States senator 
that lives in Baltimore but pretty much feels like he's from Montgomery County. You see Ben Carden and Myrna Carden everywhere that we have an important event in this county because he takes the entire state seriously. He's put really good team on the ground with Ken Reichert running around taking care of all the local politics and bringing Ben and Myrna here to chat with us. And he's here today to deliver a very special message not only about the state of politics at the national level, because we all care about that here too. But he's got a message for you about District 20 politics in particular. Give it up for U.S. Senator Ben Cardin. Yay! Thank you very much. Oh, what a way to celebrate July 4th. Happy birthday, America. We really do celebrate the, the great democracy we live in. And I, I just really want to thank... Um, the people here in Tacoma Park who made the decision to keep the parade on July the 4th. Yeah. That was sort of a personal thing, because Myrna and I will tell you, if, we, if it were changed, we would not have been able to be here. Uh, because the parades in Baltimore that are normally July the 4th were held on July the 3rd. So we did a lot of parades yesterday. And I'm not going to tell you where we were yesterday. But I'm going to tell you, this parade was really special. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you've got something unique here. you got the people, you got the floats, you got the... Uh, it's just great. So uh, I know that when I ask Myrna next year what she thinks about parades... It's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tacoma Park. Thank you very much.